Officer has a split second to use deadly force to save lives. News Channel 6's Devin Johnston was with Burke County Sheriff's deputies who have to make that decision in a training exercise that put him behind the barrel. Shoot or don't shoot? One on patrol, deputies have a split second to react to that question. It's a decision they're faced with daily, and with the help of the Burke County Sheriff's Office, I was put in that same scenario. Burke County deputies are going through several virtual scenarios, whether to use deadly force based on active shooter situations, traffic stops, and burglary. The deputies have to react to each situation as if they were actually called to the scene. We're giving direction to them, lawful orders if you will, and as long as they follow those orders, everything's going to be fine. They're the ones that make the decisions. Law enforcement agencies are required to do this training every year. However, this is the first year the Burke County Sheriff's Office is using the simulator to train all of the deputies. Corporal Tommy Cooks, he says, is not all about training to kill. They understand that the, all these scenarios are not going to be shoot scenarios because that's not what we're trying to, to train on here. We're trying to train, train on their judgment, how well they can respond and react to something. Each deputy is reacting with verbal commands to the suspect's body cues. Cooksey says an officer's experience often determines how they'll handle the situation. What are they thinking about? Are they fixing to run? Are, they, are their eyes focused on me or are they focused on something else? So if they're focused on something else, I know they're not listening to me. They're looking to do something different. So based on all of that and their actions is going to depend on what I'm going to do. I even joined in this scenario to see what officers might encounter. I froze a little bit during the active shooting situation at a basketball game. So what a police officer can do in that scenario is move and close the distance on the shooter uh, and give direction to the kids to get out of the way. Uh, his immediate response is going to be to stop that shooter's actions. And after going through these scenarios, I realized how tough it is for these officers to make that decision. In Waynesboro, Devin Johnson, WJBF, News Channel 6. A suspicious